Uh, right now is my time to make a presentation about the role of interventional criminology to increase quality of toxicology multidisciplinary team. I am Mr. Anang Mahana from Erlangga University, Rotterdam Hospital, Surabaya, Indonesia. This is my university and our hospital. From introduction, uh, lung cancer has the highest mortality rate of any cancer in the world. Lung cancer morbidity and mortality needs to be reduced through implementation of prevention strategy and most importantly by early diagnosis and prompt and targeted treatment. Multidiscipline team of the oncology is a healthcare group with different background and expertise providing complementary service translated into efficient and comprehensive care. This is the importance of a multidisciplinary, multidisciplinary approach to lung cancer. The followers MDT you can see here uh, with a presumptive diagnosis and we can uh, rely on the physician, oncology, surgeon, family doctor, and pulmonologist for the investigation and non-invasive or invasive, invasive method. We can uh, refer our pathologists, radiologists, and endoscopies for the treatment, surgical, medical, and follow-up. We can uh, rely on oncologists, surgical, and medical or radiation department. The multidisciplinary meeting uh, for the radiologist, nuclear medicine, and physician. Uh, the diagnosis is required obtaining tissue for appropriate pathological assessment. But to obtain tissue, the location and extent of the malignancy must first be identified. Then the radiological, nuclear medicine, physician is needed uh, in this meeting. For the interventionist, radiologist, respiratory physician, and thoracic surgeon, one, one lung cancer is suspected. Tissue should obtain to allow a formal diagnosis of malignancy. And the pathologist need to identify the next best test capable of providing a diagnosis and allowing access to the most appropriate treatment option. We continue to the palliative care and physicians and nurses from the MDT meeting uh, they should be involved in uh, MDT dealing which is which in the majority of patients is incurable thoracic surgeon uh, to identify patient that are acceptable lung cancer nurses also needed because optimum interaction between multiple specialties to ensure timely investigation and therapies are uh, needed. And the medical and radiation oncologists need to provide optimal chemotherapy regimen for each of the different subtypes of lung cancer and to ensure the side effect profile. With the rapid development of new targeted therapy, tested for sensitizing mutation and receive them when appropriate. And how about the evidence of effectiveness of a multidiscipline team? In one study, medial overall and progression-free survival increased by uh, six, eight and uh, five months respectively. Curry et al. shows the limited evidence to improve survival, but the Peter et al. Uh, research they find the increasing in median survival from 3.2 to 6.6 months and increasing therapy use from 7% to 23%. The National Lung Cancer Audit in UK shows that patients with the MDT team are more likely to undergo surgical resection. This is also the diagnostic assessment clinics with the nurse, navigate, nurse navigators. Yeah. Uh, we have a tri triage coordination of diagnostic tests and assessment of the inter informational and psychosocial needs of the patient. The respirologist and thoracic surgeon, uh, they try to find the initial assessment and procurement of the diagnostic material. And the pathologist is establishing the diagnosis of lung cancer. Of 
position in thoracic oncology MDT. You can find here. Uh, they can help to diagnostic assessment clinics, initial diagnostic, staging, and fitness for treatment. For the diagnostic assessment clinics, patients show multiple specialists are at separate appointment. So concern about the potential delays in diagnostic lung cancer and high frequency of advanced disease at presentation. The MDT reduced the time of to diagnosis, which decreased patient anxiety and increased the patient satisfaction. From the initial diagnostic, for the suspected patient of the lung cancer, uh, we can determine the most appropriate method to obtain a tissue diagnostic from the bronchial biopsy, washing, brushing, or we can decide the ABAS needle aspiration or percutaneous FNAB and core biopsy and also mediastinoscopy and thoracoscopy or section. For the staging, by history, examination, computed tomography, scanning, and PET scan. Most commonly performed by the respiratory physician who originally involved in the diagnosis of lung cancer as the final diagnosis. For the fitness of treatment, respir respiratory physician knowledge of lung physiology and the management of COPD support the crucial role of initial assessment and management of patients with lung cancer. This is the benefit of patient clinician and the wider population I've already read, uh, written in the um, uh, abstract or handbook. And how about the role of interventional technologies, technologies, multidisciplinary team? We have uh, several uh, purposes. First, from central airway obstruction. Obstruction of the central airways <coughs> can be a significant cause of morbidity and mortality. <coughs> uh, 20 to 30 percent of lung cancer will, will develop complication due to central airway obstruction. <coughs> For example, epileptosis, recurrent obstructive pneumonia, dyspnea, and respiratory failure. 30 to 40 percent of lung cancer death can be attributed to such obstructing complication of the central airways. This is the bronchoscopy. Flexible or rigid is always necessary in the evaluation of central airway obstruction. Intervention, uh, uh, including the mechanical tumor debridement, including the use of micro debrider, electrocautery, laser, cryotherapy, APC, brachytherapy, photodynamic therapy, sequential balloon dilation, and stand placement. Is needed. For the small pulmonary nodules, can use the small caliber bronchoscope with the radial EBUS mini probe. In this uh, picture, radial EBUS deliver a circumferential ultrasound image of the nodules. The nodules in radial ultrasound image may be concentric or eccentric depending on the location and of the nodules. For mediastinal staging, in patient with the disease confined up to the chest mediastinal lymph node involvement will help to determine the, 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 determine the most appropriate treatment strategy. Mediastinal staging here including the CT scan, PET, radiology guided sampling, bronchoscopy with transbronchial needle aspiration and mediastinoscopy. Continue to the management of malignant proevolution. Peroral involvement uh, is we, fa we can find in up to 50% of patients with metastatic disease. Malignant peroral effusion is advanced disease with a medial survival of 3 to uh, 12 months. With the thoracic ultrasound, we can quickly assess small peroral effusion. Peroral thickening or nodularity will help the etiology of the peroral effusion. We continue to the ultrasound guided biopsy of the pleural base tumor. We with the ultrasound guided, the benefit is we can use it a uh, real time image, no radiation exposure, bedside availability, low cost, speed and ease of exam, and doctor availability to check for vascular structure. Image guided pleural biopsy can increase the sensitivity of pleural biopsy significantly. And the last one is management of massive hemoptysis, which uh, uh, already presented by Professor Blasi. We 
can identify which lung. Which lung is the bleeding. Immediately turn the patient with the bleeding side down, partition of the airway, and uh, we can uh, contact the multidisciplinary team, including anesthesia, interventional pulmonology, and interventional radiology, thoracic surgery, and blood bank. This is the take home message. The MDT oncology has the benefit result to increase the quality of care patient with the lung cancer. Interventional pulmonologist has a strategic position both in diagnostic and therapy in cancer and its complication. Good team MDT means good quality of care. This is our regular tumor board, uh, which help every week. For that we invite the thoracic surgeon, the radiologist, the pathologist, anesthesiologist, and uh, of course we are the pulmonologist. Thank you, Dr. Maranya. I think that the, the, you, you gave us a, a